Tax breaks could be coming for older Missourians. Governor Mike Parson signed a bill this month. It would allow seniors to freeze their property tax rates. Francis Watson is here to explain the way this could work for you. Francis. Yeah, Paul, the law will allow counties to decide whether or not to freeze property taxes for seniors. Now, to qualify, you have to be at least 65 years old or eligible for Social Security benefits and own a home or pay property taxes on a home. Now, the idea is to save you money. Seems simple enough, but according to local officials, it's not quite. All right, I'm ready for it. Harlan Flippin has been retired for about two years. Property taxes went up about $300 last year, and so that's over, you know, that's just, we're on, right now we're both living off our Social Security, so, you know, that's, that's a chunk of change. He's all for saving money on the taxes he pays for his Springfield home. Missouri Senate Bill 190 allows counties to freeze property taxes for seniors who are eligible for Social Security benefits, own a home, or pay property taxes on a home. I don't sense that there's any hesitancy on the part of my colleagues here in Greene County to go ahead and implement this. The big question for us is what are we implementing and how are we supposed to do it? Greene County Presiding Commissioner Bob Dixon says the bill is too vague to put into action. It's a concept on paper, but it lacks the details that are necessary for counties across the state to implement it. Greene County Collector Alan Isett agrees. We've gone through this multiple times and have identified a number of questions that simply need to be answered. Besides a software update that could take months, Isett says there are no guidelines to establish eligibility and what happens if property taxes decrease among other questions and that way we the collectors are not having to fill the gaps and make assumptions because if we do of the 114 counties there will be multiple counties that come up with different answers and different processes which is not the way this should be rolled out and i think it's bound for legislative cleanup next year i certainly hope so harlan says waiting for the confusion to clear will be worth it well i'm mind paying our taxes don't mind paying stuff for schools and stuff like that for kids or grandkids and but on the other hand you know my medicine's gone up Medicare went up, so yeah, there got to be some end insider relief somewhere. Now we reached out to other counties for comment on how this will be handled, but have not heard back. The law is scheduled to go into effect on August 28th. Paul, Maria, thank you, Francis. Beyond